Hi, welcome back to the channel. Long time no see. So, I have been away for a long time, been busy doing other stuff and, and I haven't got around to making a video. But today I wanted to do a rig tour because obviously I've changed rooms. You'll see it's in a different room and I've updated quite some stuff and I've got two rigs now. So, I wanted to do a bit of an update. So, as you can see, we've moved into a different room. This room's bigger for me and also it's got air conditioning, which is good in the summer. The rig pretty much is as it was. We've got triple monitors. I don't know if we had triples last time I did the video, to be honest. Uh, I think we did. And then I have a fourth monitor up here. Uh, if you see that one. Get to that another monitor up there. So we have the other monitor up there, which I use for timings mainly and position of it in the base. And then of course we've got triples. So we have all our button boxes over here. These are all rigged up for ACC. So every button on them boxes does actually do something. I have my keyboard here and my mouse. And then I have this here to show me the temperatures of the PC to make sure it's not overheating. And then I have a DDU on there which has got lovely dash on it at the minute which is the best one in my opinion to have. Over here I have two sets of headphones, the ones I use most which are these, these are the Logitech G Pros, uh, sorry Logitech Pro X and then behind there we've got, I don't know, the Razer wireless ones, I don't like them anyway, they were, they're quite expensive, they're about 100 quid. Shifter's there and then the seat is a, I can't remember if it's an R34 something like that, it's a GT Amiga seat and it is the best GT Amiga seat I've ever sat in, it's comfortable, it's big, but it's a big seat, uh, but it's very comfortable, easy to set to the position you like, but you do need it. The other big thing I've done on this, the rig now is on casters. So these casters came from Amazon, I think they were 40, 50 quid somewhere. They're quadruple bearing ones and they can hold 200 kilos. So they can hold a bit of load. I have it on them so it's easier just if you want to pull it out to clean underneath it, it's much easier to do now. I have the Sony surround, so I have Sony surround, so I have a Sony bar just under the monitors and then here I have the surround speakers, two of those and I have a bass unit down here. Over this side we have the PC and then we have the PC, a bass box for that and then we have the book kicker which is running at the front. I have also two Dayton pucks running underneath the seat and that's running off that uh, Fossey audio amplifier there. So the PC is, has it changed for that? 64 gig of RAM um, running at 3600 and then it has a Ryzen 7 5800X and we have a Radeon 7, 9, 7900 XTX. Um, I've had it a couple of months now, really nice card and we've got an 850 watt power supply running in there. I get really good frame per second on that. The monitors are 144 hertz, so, no sorry, 175 hertz the monitors. Here's my spare wheels, some of them, and they have this one for, is one with this, um, I can't remember what it's called, it's a V, uh, I don't know what it's called this actually, Fanatec Hub. And it's a V2 version. That's the wheel that came with it. It's an R33. I don't like it. r 33 oh, I don't like it at all. And then they have an RD wheel that I use for drifting. And then I have a Fanatec P1 V2. That's the V2 version. Uh, it did have a QR1 on it. I'm just waiting on getting another QR1 for it rather than the light. Because I don't like them at all. I have LED lighting running behind here. These are all Gobi and these are controlled as well by SimHub. Uh, quite easy to do once you get used to it. Looks a bit odd at first how you do it, but it's not that bad. And then obviously I have these screens. These are not um, ASUS ones. These are ones I made myself. You can get these, print these top and bottom mounts off Thingiverse, and they're dead easy to do. Print your own, and then you just need a monitor. It's hard to tell, but they are perfectly in line when I've got them. But from here, they look like they're miles out, but you've got to be sat in your seat. And then we have the biggest difference. Now I have a second rig. And the second rig is for mainly, well, it's totally for playing in VR on GT7 on the PS5. So this is the second rig I've got. 
Uh, I, did a I did a video on this frame actually, it was a dirt cheap frame, I got it for 155 quid or whatever it was, it's a really nice rig, that's my old GT Amiga seat that I had, which is the same as the black one except the pink version, it's only had in stock when I bought it, and now we have a DD Pro on here, we have the Fanatec wheel, now the only reason I like this wheel is because I know where all the buttons are, and it's dead easy for me when I'm playing in VR that I know where the buttons are. I put a QR1, pop a QR1 on the back of that rather than what it was. And we now have Club Sport V3 pedals that I managed to get hold of. They are like brand new. I got them off someone used, but you, you, as you can see, they haven't been. Um, they're just spotless out of the box. Came with everything just like it had just been delivered. And that's on there. And then we run off a PS5 with the... PSVR 2 headset which is phenomenal if you've not paid GT7 in VR and you have the headset just give it a go even if you haven't got the stuff if you just want to play on your controller it's immense I also have a 65 inch screen in here the only reason I have a screen in here is simply for playing on my PlayStation so I sit there take the wheel off and then I just play on the PlayStation so yeah so this is a really nice for a second rig it's a chunk of money in it but it's a really nice rig for playing GT7 uh, and I now I can just have the two of them separate on this rig obviously I do play VR because I have a Quest 3 I have the Quest 3 here rigged up to the PC so I can play and it's well ACC in here in VR but I prefer to play on the triples than the VR for this anyway for GT7 it's a totally different story but yeah, I prefer to play on the triples rather than in VR on this one. But I do play VR, as I said, on this rig. So this rig is now, it's ne they're never finished, are they? Because you're constantly adapting to them. I've got a couple more steering wheels here. I've got the um, McLaren GT3 wheel and the F1, I think it's a V2.5X, that's what that is. Um, and then I have obviously on here the BMW wheel so I've got a lot of wheels uh, I'm after one more so I'm trying to get hold of one more which I will do oh, on the keyboard I also have another monitor here now that's set um, I've just booted it up and played actually that's wrong so that that normally just has my tire wear on so I don't have to glance at that side of the screen so much I can just get it all off there and then I have a very small Steam Deck um, because I don't Steam Deck, I don't really use it. But I just have there my main games and that's just because I'm lazy and I just hit the button to play them. And that's it, basically. So that's the rig. And like I say, I moved in here, it has air conditioning here, so it's much better on a hot day like it is today that I can be in here and not overheat. Um, yeah, that's it. I hope you like it. Let me know in the comments what you think of the rig. I will be doing more videos coming up. I've got couple of things to review um, that I've got on order that hopefully will come in and obviously you probably all heard by now the debacle that's happening at Fanatec they've obviously administrated the bat to be called in it looks like Corsair trying to bail them out how they've got a 70 million pound debt is God, uh, God alone knows they've been slipping and slipping and slipping I bought this from them and the only problem I did have getting it is they sent it out in two boxes, so the 180, is it one? Yeah, the 180 watt um, power supply that came with it somehow got sent to a different place rather than here, so I had to wait two or three days for that. But apart from that, wasn't that bad. It took a couple of weeks to come, not bad at all. But I know people have had horror tales and still are having, and for all you people, I feel severely sorry. If I was starting again today, it would not be Fanatec. I'm too deep in now, really. On the array of husking belt pedals, but apart from that, it's all Fanatec. And now I'm too deep in. I'd, I would definitely be looking at, I don't know, Simicube. Or I'd possibly go Moza, but I wouldn't have their pedals. So I'd probably go Moza and... Um, I'd go Moza because of the prices at now 18 you can get. I'd probably go with that. I'd probably stick to the Huskin belt pedals, although the Aethertech pedals I'd love to have a go with. But I wouldn't be putting my money into um, Fanatec. I'd certainly be looking at another brand. But like I said, I, I looked at the beginning of this year to change, move on to Mother, and it, I'd have lost too much money. 
which happens. You just stuck with what you've got. That's a DD one that I run that on, and I love the DD one. I have no problems with it, and I ha touch wood. I've had no problems, but you never know, dear. So thanks ever so much for watching. I will be back with more regular videos, I promise, uh, and have a fantastic day. Once again, thanks ever so much for watching. Bye bye.